And we're back with some more Imworld. And today, we are going to get ourselves our assault squad together. I have spent some time, I spent some time last night just getting some stuff done in the background. Uh, for example, I built in this extra set of food. Oh, wait, let me start at the beginning. Where is it? Yes, we have too much meat coming in. Due to all the mad manhunter attacks, you end up with way too much meat in the fridge. Now, I could just chop it up and sell it off, but what I want to do is turn it into more meals. We're going to need that for our assault squads. Problem is, I don't have enough vegetables. So I have one greenhouse here, one greenhouse here, and one greenhouse here, three greenhouses. These three greenhouses were not growing me enough potatoes, especially because one of them is dedicated to something else. So I made another greenhouse. Unfortunately, this requires three sun lamps. Sun lamps take an awful lot of power. So I needed more power. So we did have more power over here. That should keep us going. Now, if we just check here, how much power we got? We got 15 wind turbines. Uh, we have 71 solar generators and six geothermal power generators. I have no idea how much power this system produces. I really don't care anymore. This, this system has been working, though. Every time I build one of these, I throw in an extra one of these solar things. The solar takes over during the day when the sun lamps are on, so it seems to work out. Though when I do get volcanic winters and things like that, things get trickier. Uh, down here, I am setting up... Ooh, caravine arrived at a lump of plastic... Uh, compacted steel. Right, let's have a quick look. More plasteel, thank you very much. We shall take that right now. Let's get everyone over there. While they're busy doing that, let's cover what else has been done. I've done up all of the body armor and all of the marine helmets. Though after I did that, I realized I was trying to pick up, to pick up an assault squad to send out. Unfortunately, I don't have eight people I'm willing to sacrifice. My last uh, sacrificial lambs were all sent out to die. So I, like, I don't want to send away someone with double crafting who's a hard worker. That's No, they're going to end up doing more crafting for me. This one, yeah, I'd be perfectly willing to throw away that one. But Tyler, yeah, I even sent out Tyler badly last time. They've got 18 in crafting now. They're a fast learner, industrious teetotaler. Oh, I, I kind of don't want to give these away. Instead, we have this new, well, pawn cooker. What should happen is pawns should enter in here, enemy pawns, and they'll have to go a really, really, really long way through. They'll have to snake all the way through to get out to the exit. And if you'll check, you'll notice that that's a dining room. Impressiveness is eight, and it's awful. That's because this entire thing is classified as one room. It's sealed in with doors at both ends. So this door is here, but it's set open, and there's a door at the entrance to the kill box also left open. Good thing about that is we can cause this to heat up. So if we turn on the temperature overlay here thing, you can see it's about minus 3C in there. But if we say we're to, oh, I don't know, set those tables on fire with some nearby Molotovs, this should cause the temperature in here to rise. Now, I did some experimenting on a, a debug testing map just to see what would happen. And I should theoretically be able to cause an awful lot of heat stroke and have a lot of fun that way. But that should allow us to capture an awful lot of pawns. Uh, which is why I've uh, put in a few more prison beds here. I, hopefully we can get a whole eight-man attack squad just out of one, dealing with one raid. We just need that raid to show up. While I was doing all that, there were a few things that got in the way. We had a, well, the toxic fallout finally ended. Uh, we got a book, good straighter. Oh, there was a raid from a ne mechanoid hive, a drop pod raid that came in right here. It destroyed some solar, took out some uh, hospital beds and some dining chairs, but I just got together a squad. We went in, mele me me melee people tanked. We took them out. It wasn't actually that bad. It wasn't even that injuring. It was just a, a case of lost equipment while I was getting all my people in position. We also had a too deep infestation over here where we were drilling and some insects popped up. All pretty easy stuff. I just drew them down to, where was it? Over here. And we ate them alive with a nicely defended little kill box. All in all, it's actually been fairly calm. I'm just hoping we get in some, some human raiders to test out our new heat, heat, heat death kill box. No, not heat that kill box, capture box. It's a capture box. We're more humane now. We're doing no more war crimes anymore. No more. The war crimes are done. Uh, in the meantime, what I'm doing is upgrading some of these bedrooms with jade. Reason being, it just gives a nice big morale boost. Well, it, it makes the bedrooms nicer. If we throw on the overlays, you'll see this is a very impressive bedroom. While the marble ones are somewhat impressive, it also helps that I'm, I'm throwing in some of these... Uh, jade royal beds though i should really hold out until i've got some inspirations because making these things without inspirations they're not really that good you're better off even having wooden excellent beds they, they turn out just nicer for terms of rest yeah but plan is get all my pawns nice and happy make sure i'm crafting like crazy and churning out as much marine armor and helmets as i can now, the reason i've been able to stockpile these is i've told my pawns not to put on any clothing items that are above uh, 90 or have greater health than 99 percent so all the new stuff keeps getting put in storage however I was going to use that so that I could then equip eight pawns and then relax the restrictions. But I think I'm just going to relax that now and let everyone get their decent armor on. Uh, we can, once we get eight people captured through here and we get them into our 
indoctrination program to send them out as killers. We, I mean, our hiring practices are going to be very strict. All we want is people who can shoot. That, that's it. So long as they've got a shooting or the ability to learn how to shoot, we will capture them. We will stick them into a, our prisons, train them up, and then send them out on their, their assaults. In the time it takes to indoctrinate them, we should handily be able to churn out the eight suits of armor necessary for each squad. Uh, yeah. So, lots of uh, upgrades for the base in terms of jade everywhere, and lots of marine armor for all. I'm just going to get as much plastic as possible. If we look out on the world map, there's still more plastic we can be harvesting. Oh, and a quest. There's an item stash quest. Two resurrector mech serums. It's like Randy is just throwing them at me now. That's that's five. Like we've gotten three in the last while. I've never seen one up until like about half half a year ago, a year ago. And now there's been five in the past six months to a year. It's it's mental. However, it's guarded by seventeen man hunting mega sloths, which sounds dangerous. But but I think I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Maybe not. But it's a plan. Let's see how it works. Before we get into that plan, we have to take care of one little one here, which is... This is a lump of cap, uh, compacted plasteel. Some of them were found with enemies already attached. So this one's got one sleeping mechanoid. So maybe we can avoid it, or maybe we can just kill it. I'm not sure which, but let's find out, I suppose. Okay, what do you got for me today, Randy? We have a pikeman? Is that it? Well... You know what, I'd say we just run over, point blanket, and riddle it full of bullets. That seems like a very reasonable thing to do. We may want to, say, get behind some cover over here and then shoot it. Oop, yep, there we go, kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. The moment they drew a bead on it, it started to freak out. But, okay, dead now, no problems. We'll, uh, we'll just chop up this and get out of here. That was... Hmm, I wonder if we could take the corpse back with this. You know what, not even worth the effort. We'll uh, bring the animals over, but that... Makes me less scared of taking on sleeping mechanoids. All right, for the quest, how are we going to handle it? Well, we're going to be... We're, yeah, we're going to commit. We're going to commit one person to the fight. We are going to commit Chan here. They have an Arcotech leg, a Bionic leg, so they're pretty fast. So we're going to be using a sort of a speedy approach. Not only that, we're going to get them... Well, we're going to inject them with go juice. Yep, yep, that's... Uh, that's the plan. And then we're going to launch them with a transport pod right at the enemy. Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, this is a pretty smart idea. <laughs> we're not even going to launch food. We're not going to launch equipment, anything with them. We are just going to launch them by their lonesome. They have nothing to pick up. Now, Chan, how are you doing, buddy? Let's have a, a look at your needs, your health, everything like that, and your speed. You've got a speed of, where is it? 6.74. You should be able to outrun a Mega Sloth. Maybe not 17, but, you know, no, nobody's perfect. Anyway, let's uh, let's send them on their Murray way. Well, there Chan goes. Right, contents, Chan, ready for launch. Well, Chan, I have good news for you. It's questy time. We're going to drop you right in the center. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, okay, hear me out on this. Last one cost me six pawns. Six pawns at the end of the day. Um, which was not great. And let's zoom in here. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe I shouldn't have launched right at the center. Let's slow that down a bit. Oh, buddy. Yeah, you're going to want to run, like, immediately. Yep. That's fine. Fine. Oh, my God. I cannot believe he survived that. Next time, land at the edge. Note to self, land at the edge when dealing with Madden Manhunter packs. That is beautiful. Come on, everyone. It's like a Congo line. Conga? You know what? I'm going to lead them away, way over here. Then we're going to ring back in. We should be able to get inside the building and then draw them all the way back out. How long does that stuff last, the go-juice? Because it needs to last long enough. <laughs> this is the dumbest plan. I cannot believe this is working, though. Come on. Come on. No, no, too close. Come on, the rest of you. Stop spreading out. I want you to bunch up and stop spreading out like that. Is that what got arthritis or something? Why are you so slow? Food. Okay, whatever. You know what? You, you'll catch up. You'll be fine. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go around the rocks, buddy. You're going to get yourself killed. Boom. Can't touch this. Not even close. Uh, we'll claim the door. 
Yeah, this is a far smarter plan. I was going to come in guns blazing, but that was kind of risky. Okay, uh, we will hit you to hold open. We want you to pick up the Resurrector mech serums and then start running. Are you kidding me? That's it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> the great thing about this was I knew exactly what I was committing to. From now on, that's the plan whenever I'm dealing with these potential ambush style problems. Yeah, we're just uh, not going to care. Okay, 0 0.4 days. I'm not even going to send you food. You should be fine. Okay, you've no rest and stuff, but speed you're moving at, you should be home in no time. As for the original Resurrector mech serum I got on the last round, I was going through who should get resurrected. And okay, this is going to sound strange. In this game, it's a bit like oxygen not included in that you give orders to your pawns and they do stuff. And when they do make mistakes and do something dumb, we know deep down it's our fault. It's not like the rules of the game changed all of a sudden. We gave them the framework and they're just going to do what they're going to do. And they'll do the same thing every time. So remember when I called him Hippo the Dumb for walking around the wrong way and walking into a bunch of, of mechanoids? And I was accusing them of being an idiot for, for going the long way and walking through the killing zone. What you have to think about was, from his point of view, he was ordered to. His orders were... Uh, uh, he was getting out of the way of the fight, and then I gave him orders, and the path was like, wow, i, I got to walk by all these mechanoids. Why, why is the boss man sending me by all these mechanoids? This, this seems like a bad idea, but I'm a loyal, loyal pawn. I will walk through this area. Maybe I'm a distraction. Maybe this is part of a grand plan. And then he got shot and killed. So realistically, I kind of feel bad almost that Hippo died. Oh, I'm still a little bit angry because of the pathing issues, but I don't think that was really Hippo's fault. So I'm, I'm bringing Hippo back. They're going to get this mech serum, the Resurrector Serum. We've got two more, and I think Dame Wasp is going to make a comeback. I know there was some hatred out there for her, but you know what? Yeah, she she pulled her weight quite a bit, and if we've got two more mech serums coming in, why not? After that, I'm not so sure. We've got Felix. Yeah, well, I, honestly, Alligator mm, died defending the colony, but they were quite young. And then Roth, Kelly, and Hurtle. I'm not sure. We might want to pop them out and have a quick look. You know what? Hippo had pretty good cooking stats as well. We can put them on cooking if we had enough potatoes to keep them busy. No, oh, yeah, I'll be fine. Timber wolf wrench. Oh, come on, right now? You know what? Who cares? Hippo is back. Arquitect eye, Arquitect leg. They've got resurrection sickness. We'll stick them into a hospital bed. They'll be back up and running in no time. And I'm sure they can do something stupid later. Now, let's maybe have a, a quick look at all of the pawns that are here so people can have a look at the stats and decide who gets the next two serums. After a bit of digging, we've got Axel Hurtle. Good shooter... Good, uh, decent crafting. Pretty much a decent all-rounder. They haven't been around long enough to really get uh, off the ground, but yeah, they're pretty good. they got a bionic leg to go with all those stats. Then we got... They're missing their head. Their head is literally clean gone. They have terrible stats. Well, actually, they've got bloodlust. Uh, they don't really have... Yeah, their head is completely missing. I think that comes back, and they've no bionics. Then we've got uh, Alligator, who... For some reason, I can't see the stats on them. They, they don't appear to have any. Which is weird. I almost want to bring them back to see if that crashes out the game. <laughs> okay, that, that that's wrong. But uh, they've also got a bionic leg. Then we've got Dame Wasp. I pretty much got to give them back eight. Bring them back. Undergrounder, transhumanist, bionic heart, bionic legs, architect leg, architect eye. I mean, they're just, they're too good not to. And then over here, we've got Felix von Schild. Uh, bionic leg. It's destroyed. Brain completely destroyed. Do they, do they get that back? I assume they get that back, right? Never mind. We're, if they get their head back, I assume they get their brain back. Hardworking, nimble, shooting, eight, crafting. Yeah, so we'll put them back in the in the sarcophagus. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll pick the two t tomorrow. But I'm pretty much going with Dame Wasp. And I see you've got some good arguments against it, Dame Wasp. I think we're bringing her back. It's that time again. It's time for the sounds of infestation. You can hear it. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, somewhere about here. You know what? I don't care. I think we're covered. No one's anywhere near it. Let's check our map. Yeah, no one's even close to being in there. We will just uh, seal this up. No one's allowed in or out for the time being. Now, to Switzer? To Switzer? To S I want to say to Switzer. Their idea was to put a bunch of incendiary mines in here. And, yep, there's a bunch of incendiary mines in there. Quite a few incendiary mines, in fact. So, hopefully, they get set off, and that will set a bunch of them on fire, which should set more on fire, which should... You know what? Let's just play it forward. Let's just see what happens and what gets spawned and what gets exploded. Or not, as the case may be. Come on, game. Come on. Oh, wow. The game is taking a while. It is chugging. You can see the, the jitteriness of all the the pawns on the left. Something. Come on. What are you doing? Spawn them. This is taking forever. Wow. 
Wow, game does not like the zoom level. <laughs> Welcome to existence. Now burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that's just... You deserve 97 mega spiders. What's the temperature in here? It's 23 degrees. It's getting a little warm in there. Now, if they break through these walls, that will break the room bonus and the, the heat will flood out of the place. But I'm pretty sure most of the hives will burn and a whole bunch of them with it. So, um, yeah, let's just maybe enjoy the fireworks, shall we? Unfortunately, they're starting to break out. They'll they'll quickly break through a wall segment here somewhere, and then once they do that, the, the heat will bleed out of the room. But it's 175C in there at the moment. If it gets to about 250... Oh, God. Everything should start spontaneously combusting. A bunch, I can't believe a bunch of them made it down here to this end. That's actually... Hmm, that's actually pretty smart. You know what? Let's turn on the map and have a look. Oh, God, that is a beautiful... A glow with all the red. Let's see how you're doing. They still haven't managed to break through, though. They're about to. That's down to 72%. What's the heat looking like in all of you? Heat stroke initial. Come on, get a little bit hotter. 230, 240, 250. Oh, that's got to be well toasty in there. How are you feeling? 270? <laughs> 280? Come on, burn. Burn, you bugs. Caused me so many problems in the past. It's oh damn it! They cracked open a wall. Temperature dropped to eight C. Yeah, they broke through over here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. How are they looking? They've got a heat stroke minor. They're probably not doing too happy. The rest of them are still going to be running around everywhere. I think we'll. Uh... Wow. Okay, they're going to break through here too. I'm going to get some people down here, and we're going to get ready a kill box. Might as well kill them while they're suffering from heat stroke. The heat stroke reduces their cognitive functions and their ability to attack and move and everything. It just makes them much easier to kill. Also, the hives are burning, so it's not like we're going to have any problems with them in the near future. I believe we have managed to get their attention. Fortunately, my grenades haven't arrived just yet, but eh, considering the amount of firepower we have available to us... Oh, forgot something. No firing from you guys. Ah, here comes Digtastic. They were the closest one to the grenades. We're going to have you fire right... Oh, you know what? We'll go back just one chunk to right there. That should hopefully take care of it. Oh, yeah, that's going to slow them down. Okay, now where are the rest of them? Are they all streaming out? I would really wish they would stop attacking those walls. I'm going to have to replace those walls. The closer they are to here, the more likely they are that the spawn can go all the way across. Oh my god, seriously? You're going on a food binge now. You do you do realize we're in the middle of a fight. Like, Could you maybe do that later? No? No? Uh, yeah, fine. I, I understand. I understand. That's... Uh, that's perfectly okay. Okay, we'll just uh, skip this forward and make sure we kill all of these. Ah, I have just been hit with an eclipse. Now, uh, to give you an idea of just how dependent upon I uh, dependent I am upon solar power, let's just uh, activate this and keep an eye on our batteries here. These batteries should usually be staying about stable, assuming we've got the power coming in, but as you'll notice now, they are just plummeting. Any sort of solar eclipse gives us massive problems, so we have to turn off all of the grow lights, otherwise we'll lose refrigeration and... Well, okay, that can lead to even more complications, so let's not do that. For the time being, we are just uh, collecting all of these uh, insects to make some lovely, lovely tasty meat, which we're... tasty insect meat, which we're going to turn into lots of more... lots of fuel. Uh, I'm going to end up storing bunches of them in here as well. There's never enough room for all these corpses. There's just so many. We'll go in later and clean out... Oh, people are already going in here. Why are people going in here? Caravan arrived. Lump of... Okay, I'm going to go take care of a caravan first. Uh, I might want to stop them from going in there for the time being. Though I don't think... Are they going to spawn any more insects? Not for a while. You know what? I can live with the... I can live with a little bit of danger in there. It'll be fine. We'll wall the place in again and... Uh, Leave it to be burnt out. I'm not sure if I want to go with the incineration tactics again. I need to think about that for a minute. Look. There he is. Deadly little Muppet. Huge pointy teeth on him. Maddened Manhunter. 
Let's hope we stand a chance. <laughs> Let's hope we don't get ambushed. That would be really embarrassing. Oh, dear lord, it's coming straight for us. What the hell is this speed on that damn thing? Guys, quick, get into cover. Don't, don't let it near your neck. No, it's closing the ground. Don't let it get close. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, let's go take care of this plasteel vein. That there is the sand of industry. That's insects getting chopped up into insect meat and insect mi meat getting turned into biofuel. And biofuel will end up over here in our storage area. That also has a fire foam popper in it. Because. <laughs> yeah, definitely because. We're going to use that to fuel our assault, but we're still waiting on... Someone to test out our kill box. We need someone to show up. Uh, hopefully soon, because it's beginning to get... It's taking a while, and I really want to get this started in this episode. Uh, let's uh, skip it forward, and hopefully Randy doesn't throw more mechanoids at us. One thing I would like to do is just cover how we do caravans around here. It's pretty simple, actually. Uh, for this one, though, we're going to be facing one enemy and two turrets, so... I'm... thinking maybe we send it slightly differently. But it's the Triple S team. We've got Sugar, uh, then we've got Snail... Or a snail, and then we got a salamander. Sugar snail and salamander are the three I send out on these quests. Ah, there we go, salamander. We give them four donkeys to take with them, or mules, whatever you call them. Then food-wise, I always give them hay, just because even if it's the right time of year, just give them the hay because otherwise I'll forget other times. We give them 50 package survival meals, just in case they get caught out there for a while. Then we give them 10 medical units. Where's the med packs? Yeah, give me 10 medicine. In this instance, we're going to send them with the shock lance, just in case the person we run into happens to be one of our former colonists. Three muffalo wool bed rolls. Well, bed rolls in general is all they need, and that's it. Uh, then we're going to head out to that location. Done and, and dusted. Then that uh, caravan should assemble itself together. My caravan loading spot, I believe, is right there. And that's pretty much how I handle all of the Plasteel quests. Now, this here is where Anita spends most of her days. What is Anita doing? Oh, she's sleeping. Well, Anita spends most of her days on the long-range mineral scanner, though I accidentally leave that on sometimes when I'm trying to find stuff. It happens. But otherwise, she finds ones, and then I send out this squad pretty much again and again. That exact same squad every time. They have a mining capacity of uh, 12 and 13. They're all about 12, 13 mining, so they all mine fairly quickly. But all... Oh, damn it. I forgot to send Wake Up with them. Uh, I forgot to send Wake Up, so my best bet is to actually stop just outside and make sure they're well-rested before they go in. Wow, it's been a long time since I've been ambushed. Um, well, there's five of them, they're tribespeople, and there's three of us. And we have mini, we have a minigun, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to refuse and fight. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> Muppets. Uh, well, ooh, it's a mix. So we got three close combat, two close combat, three ranged. In that case, let's just hide behind some rocks, I suppose, is the general strategy. So, this is the fastest. Plan is simple. We go hide behind some rocks, and then we shoot at them. Th that seems like the normal standard issue plan. All of their close combat people, we should try and kill those first. Yeah, come on, hurry up, get closer. God, I love miniguns. So, that's a whole bunch of them. You know what? Let's just let them fire it, Will. Oh. Do you think you're going to make it, buddy? Shoot that guy. The guy behind you. Come on, he's going to make it. Oh, no, he almost made it. Eh, uh, what do you look like? Ugh, not worth the effort. If you had some shooting skill, I'd take you. Or the rest of you. You know, I maybe should have zapped one of them. No, no, we kept those for a reason. Well, that was a, a quick and easy victory. We'll just reform the caravan, steal their pemmican, leave all their other junk behind. We don't care. Oh, and I managed to load 10 extra pemmican, 10 wake up into the caravan by telling people to do it. Though I did have to leave one donkey behind because it had a heart attack. Yes, heart attack donkey. Right, we'll stop them outside. I like to stop outside just to let everyone's rest meter go all the way back up. That means once we enter, it's usually we have enough rest to get everything done without having to sleep. If they'd eat as well, that'd be great, but you can't really force them to. And yeah, we're good. Okay, let's head in there and get this done. Now, there is one person in here and there is two turrets. I've never seen one like this before, so I guess we'll just have to find out. All right, let's see what we got here. That's... Oh, God, that is terribly pathetic. And who are you? You are no one we know. You have no social relationship with us. And you are not worth capturing, are you? Yeah, we don't need any brawlers. Uh, this should be fairly simple. As far as I'm aware, the turret's got decent range. But my minigunner has even more decent range. Wow, I think the pirate guy noticed that we attacked his turret. Well, he was brave. But 
incredibly dumb. Uh, that was it. We'll just go. Oh no, there's a second turret. I forgot about that. Almost walked into death there. One moment. Once the mining begins with three decent miners, you can usually get through it before the end of the day. I mean, we've got 14, 12, and 14. Why that one? They're all about the same. I wonder why Snail is taking so long to keep up with them. Yeah, never mind. Inspired surgery, food binge, confusion. Yeah, one of my dogs has just developed dementia. That's, uh... Yeah, that's not fair. Well, okay, it happens. I'll have to uh, remove that dog from the, the playlist, unfortunately. But once you've got all the plasteel mined, it's simply back to here. Reform caravan, and... Yeah, this is just a ludicrous amount of plasteel. You can you can farm this way. Where are we for plasteel? 439 plasteel, and all we had to do... I mean, and that was the hard one, where we had to kill someone in a couple of turrets. Which wasn't exactly difficult. I'm missing a donkey because one of them had a, a heart attack before, and I had to remove them from the uh, the caravan. But otherwise, I'd be a lot faster. I wouldn't be so close to maxing out. This is probably going to take me about a day and a half to get home, is it? Oh no, still half a day. Uh, that's fine. The next one's a little bit further away, though. That's it's going to be a bit of a trick. Anita, you better be working on our next plasteel find wherever you are. Oh Christ, Pagan, the dog that's developed uh, dementia. The downside is Pagan is dogs' bodies. Is bonded to dog's body. So, Pagan stayed around for ages. Dog's body comes back from the dead, and six months later, the dog gets dementia and has to be put down. That is... God damn it, Randy. I mean, I know I've, I've done some terrible things, but that's just mean. Ugh. Oh, and a valuable lesson I learned. Make sure you seal up your food areas. I had, uh animals coming in here and coming to eat my food. The fun one was when two boomalopes came in to eat my food. I'd already set them to be hunted and my people shot them while they were in here and it set fire to the place. I almost destroyed a whole stack of smoke leash joints and psychite tea and some wake up and a bunch of flake. Let's just say it was almost a very expensive problem, the fires they caused. So I've closed all the doors so the animals stop wandering in here all the time to grab my food and eat my drugs and drink my beer. <laughs> Silly. Oh yeah, too deep infestation and oh, it's over here. Wonderful. Let's go grab some people to take care of this. This is going to be a very dumb defense. We're going to have a long corridor because I didn't really anticipate uh, stuff happening through here. You need to go back immediately. Right there. Yep, yep. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Then everyone behind can shoot down and kill everything. Go, go, access the stopper. And then the shooting happens. Oh, oh. What? Where do you think you're going, buddy? <laughs> You're going that way. Oof. Oh, did you blow up in a hole in the wall? Damn it. What was that? That was a marble wall. Christ. What's the temperature? It's like 27. That's fine. That's fine. They, I had a... This wall get destroyed over here at one point due to an um, A mechanoid drop caused me so much hassles. It instantly killed all the... What are you people doing? I need to start paying more attention to this. Uh, Vex, you know, I admire, I admire what you're trying to do there, buddy, but let's maybe get everyone back and let, uh, let the close combat people do their jobs. Right, I think that's done. Let's let everyone get back to work. Gogo, how did you do after that one? Hmm, you have a scratch. Well, you have a cut. Dear Lord, once you've got good gear, you can pretty much tank an awful lot, and that wasn't even some of the better gear. That's only heavy for a duster and a flak vest. Most people have marine armor and, uh, and thrum before dusters going on, so... Yeah, we're... I think we're sorted. Anyway, let's hope that uh, Randy sends some humans soon. Uh, I'm running out of time. Oh, God. My caravan got ambushed by man-hunting gazelles. How many? Oh, four. Four I can live with. I just have nightmare flashbacks of that time. A whole bunch of them got annihilated by a, an army of them. Let's find some good terrain for them to crawl across so that it'll take them even longer to get to us while we riddle them full of bullets. We're going to wait for them in the water. Yes, because it takes them so long to crawl across the water, we should be fine. Uh, everyone just stop there. I think that's 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 fair enough, guys. Oop. Come on, stop moving. Just start shooting. Though the rain and the darkness is not going to help with the accuracy. Oh, great. You managed to hit one of our own donkeys. Wow, twice. <laughs> you gotta give it to them. Come on, snail. Point blank. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's maybe have that minigun melee that one. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah, rain, darkness, all that kind of stuff is really bad for you when you're uh, when you're doing these. Reform caravan. 
Can can we take a corpse with us? Now nah, they're, they're too heavy. Anyway, I wouldn't I wouldn't be bothered to worth the effort. Well, we got ambushed just as we were getting back home. Uh, at the time being, oh, get rid of that. I've also switched this up. I want to grab some jade. Uh, I can't finish up my rooms. I ran out of jade. I didn't realize how little, how much I was going to need to do all these upgrades. So, let's find some jade veins to go to all that plasteel. So here's me loading up a caravan. I've got five uh, transport pods here. I'm loading up with some donkeys and people. I, I want to send them off on a, a quest on the world map because, well, if I check our history here, we're getting a little rich. Our wealth is just skyrocketing because of all this plasteel we're bringing in. So, yeah, time to get rid of all of these panther fur t-shirts. There's an awful lot of black panther fur t-shirts. It looks like there was a rock concert going on here and, and we couldn't sell them all. Anyway, I want to get rid of all of this clothes and load them up onto here. But while I'm doing that, Randy finally decided to give us a raid and it's definitely people and it's not sappers. And would you look at all these potential recruits, 200 meat bags all ready to go. And not only that, they're going to wait. They're going to wait a while to attack so I can prepare my defenses, get everything set up, and by the time they arrive around, they're not even sappers, so they'll have to walk all the way around and they'll have to go through the kill box and we get to see if it works. Sorry, sorry. The, uh, the cooker, cooker, recruiter, the recruit cooker, the recruit cooker. Yeah, perfect, the recruit cooker. So once they've gone through that, yeah, we'll see what happens. Though, let me check the footage here. Yeah, I'm past the 30 minute mark, unfortunately. But... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, next episode, next episode, so we're going to see how the recruitment goes. We are going to recruit an awful lot of these. We should be able to max out our cells. In fact, since they're going to wait, I'm going to make sure that we have every available cell open and ready to go. Food-wise, yeah, we've got 900 spare package survival meals going on. We can definitely feed them even if we over-recruit. That's fine. Uh, this this extra food has been really paying off for us. I think we've only got in one crop, maybe two, but it's definitely helped us uh, start chewing through the meat supplies a lot more. My, my fridges are starting to look less jammed full. I know we still haven't started with the pirate killing, but there's there's our entire attack, attack squad there. If I could recruit 16 out of this... Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, this episode, yeah, we got rid of... We got more power, more food, more weapons, more armor, more plasteel, more jade. We've upgraded a bunch of stuff, and yeah, I think we're ready. Next episode, we're going to see if the, the recruitment box works. If my debug map is anything to go by, we should be able to, to get eight, 16 recruits out of this. Anyway, anyway I'm, I'm going to cut it out here. I hope you enjoyed. We're still alive and uh, good luck. Mm -hmm.